Ministers and police chiefs who want judges to hand down tougher sentences to deter just stop oil protesters from disrupting sporting events. I mean, judges can't hand down tough sentences for people who've been convicted of 45 knife crimes. I don't know what hope they've got with this. They're urging courts to do more than simply consider protests in isolation and are examining new sentencing guidelines for public order offences. Factors such as the wider risk to the public of pitch invasions and stunts and the reputational damage to Britain's ability to host sporting events without disruption should be taken into account as well, ministers and police believe. Meanwhile, Just Stop Oil said that it applauded the actions of a woman who threw orange confetti over the former Chancellor George Osborne and his new wife, Thea, as they left their wedding ceremony. Although the group said it was the lone wolf protester, it was not, this person was not a member. So should judges just get a bit harsher on Just Stop Oil? Ben Pyle, researcher and writer and co-founder of Climate Debate UK, is with us. Afternoon to you, Ben. Oh, good afternoon, Ian. Uh, thanks for having me back. It's a pleasure. I mean, I thought the let's just start with the George Osborne. I thought it was fairly despicable to sign up at somebody's wedding and make you know whether you're a lone protest. I don't care what whether you represent yourself or anybody else. I just thought it was not a nice thing to do. It's pretty lame, and you've got to wonder, like, if they think they're making a political statement. What what kind of political statement is it to to go and interrupt um, a wedding in that way? What what what? How does it how does it change things for your cause or or for society in in positive way? I don't really have very much time to George Osborne, and 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 of all the things I can think of. Um, I'd like you know to do to him to get, as it were, to, to uh, you know make make things make policy changes in in a way I'd like them. Mm. Um, throwing throwing silly confetti at him is probably l the lowest on the list. What I'd rather do is engage him in debate. We could have a very big, interesting debate about the last fifteen years of economics. Of course, George Osborne uh, was the man who appointed uh, Mark Carney to be the bank, uh, the governor of the Bank of England. Um, and, and therein lies a lot of the, the trouble we're having now. If you look at the bank, not to take this discussion too far away for, uh, uh, from, from the point, but if you look at the Bank of England's website, a lot of it could have been written by Greenpeace it's it, it, <laughs> it or even just stop oil itself yeah. it's actually it's actually pretty uh, green bonkers um so so I'd like to talk to him about that you know and and, and then for, for him to explain why why he made those decisions and, and what the legacies of uh, for example you know the austerity the so-called austerity mm. um that we're now living with and and what he what he makes of his successor's uh, decisions. So there's there's much much better ways. Yeah, there's of lots of. But I mean, I, I've him. noticed that the kind of the the mad left have kind of decided that because they didn't like George Osborne and his policies, therefore he's fair game to have his wedding yes. disrupted. And I I find that a kind of curious position because you could literally apply that argument to anyone. Well, yeah, when I when I was growing up, and uh, I, I used to sort of think that the left was the intellectual centre of gravity. Yeah. That the left people on the left, they were the smart guys. They'd read all the books, and the Marxists especially had this sort of forensic knowledge of e economics, and um, you know they they would be able to speak um, ab about all matters at, at depth. But actually, the left now just seems to be characterised by something, especially the green left, something quite spiteful and and nasty, um, and 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 intent on trapping people and uh, in, in in you know in moral moral traps or yeah. holding people to ransom uh, morally. You know, if you if you if you don't believe such and such thing, then you're a Nazi or a racist or you want Correct. to destroy the planet. Um, and where we just might have a difference of agreement, uh, 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 sorry, difference of agreement, uh, opinion, um, that, that in the past, people with intellectual confidence would have been able to explore in good faith uh, and democratically. Yeah, I, I, I saw, um, who's that guy that plays the part of a deranged left-wing Guardian journalist? Oh, Owen Jones, that fella. I saw him <laughs> on the TV this morning, kind of talking about how, you know, it, it's fine, this kind of stuff is okay. And it, it and look, it, it, I don't think it ruined their wedding. I'm not suggesting that. But it just the idea that you can kind of pick and choose when it comes to this kind of stuff. And there is a wider debate about Just Stop Oil, of course, in this, because it might have been George Osborne's wedding on that particular date, but it's been Wimbledon tennis matches, it's been the, it's been the cricket, it's been the snooker, and, of course, every road surface that you can glue your bits and pieces to as well. These people have caused mass disruption. 
Uh, what is our risk, or should our response be, if ministers and the police are saying to judges, hand down tougher sentences, are you hopeful that could even happen, Ben? Uh, not, not really. I mean, quite a few judges. I mean, some some judges I think have have passed down the appropriate sentences, but quite a few judges and um, the milieu of they're from, I yeah. think, that um, is is, is, is um, you know needs an investigation here. If you see what I mean. But they, 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 a lot of them have actually commended these people. They've said that they're brave and that they're doing the right thing, and that and that's just not that's not what judges should be doing. Judges should be interpreting the law as it is, not saying not giving these people a pat on the back. Um, and I and I and I, I wonder what's happening to the judiciary and to the, what what what's going on beneath the surface in 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 the legal world um, to to be so permissive about this sort of thing. Because Just Stop Oil and, and their predecessor, um, Extinction Rebellion, uh, were very clear about it. They set out with the intention, because of the hypothesis of their founder, Roger Hallam, they believed that once the assert, they'd achieved a certain number of arrests, like once so many um, of their, their membership were in jail, then they would somehow have achieved a social and political revolution. That's right, of, yeah. I, you, you don't have to ask them for 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 a full account of that. But part part of what what if you listen to them speaking and they're saying it clearly to MPs, um, Gail Bradbrook, another co-founder of Extinction Rebellion, um, said it very clearly in evidence to a, a, a select committee um, in Parliament. She said that, that they believe that the, the social contract. Um, is broken. Now, that's a very sort of nebulous, woolly, political, theoretical term. But what it basically means is that they've given themselves permission to go and behave um, in public in any way that they de they they decide is necessary to achieve the political goals yeah. that they have, which are kind of radical and weird uh, at the same time. Um, and so, and that means disrupting any kind of event whatsoever. It means blocking the roads. It means uh, dist uh, disturbing other people's weddings. Dis disturbing. Uh, uh, people's um, um, enjoyment of, of sports and entertainment, and the, 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 the so the social contract it, essentially to most people most of the day means that you, you believe that you can go and carry on your life as normal um, without being molested by other people. Um, and that's not that's not that's not something they want to grant to anyone else. When you walk down the street, you don't want to to, to feel like there's any antagonism between you and other members of the community, your neighbours and 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 other people who you share the road with. But they want to dissolve that. They want to take apart the very essence, the very glue that keeps society together, so that we do what they tell us. And and spectacularly, uh, and I don't know how this is lost on them. Because, of course, their belief, Ben, is that they are on the, the moral side of everything. So whatever you right. throw at them, they can always throw back, ah, oh, but the end of the world is more important than your snooker tournament or whatever. And So they have this curious, frank, frankly, anti-intellectual position. Because, And I say that because there's not even a left-wing government around the world that are adopting the kind of policies they're asking for. You might think by now one of them would have done, bearing in mind we're talking about the end of time, that there'd be a government somewhere that'd be going, well, you know, let's, we might have to do this stuff a bit, uh, you know, we've done COVID, so we can act if we want to. No one's doing what they're asking. That, that's right, and they should be very careful about it because uh, 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 the gov governments have done a lot, which yeah. is very radical, um, without what I would I would argue is the due democratic process. We haven't really been consulted as the public, um, or, 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 as, as voters, on whether we want this agenda, the agenda that there has been, and, and that the, the, the likes of Just Stop Oil uh, want to want to want us to go further on. And that's the point, isn't it? They want us to go further, and I don't know whether even some of the governments we're seeing now will even do that. Ben